Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Well, today we're going to talk about a new restorative material, Bora, by uh, Southern Dental Industries. Um, an exciting material that has gone back to possibly some of the wonderful materials of the 80s where we had enamel shades overlaying dentine shades. Um, Bora is a, um, an exciting material as I've said and uh, we're looking forward to showing you some of the applications of it today. Uh, Aura is used for anterior restorations as well as posterior restorations. Of the two components we're going to be showing anteriorly today, there is an enamel system and a dentine system. Now, the enamel system is a pure microfill, 0.04 micron size particles. It's 51% filled, so there is certainly a degree of strength within it. Very easy to polish, and the opalescence is very, very similar to natural enamel. Um, three options of shades, E1, for higher value, brighter, younger individual type teeth, E2 for adults, and E3 for the older teeth, probably referencing off our A3, A3.5 dentine basis. The dentine shade system, which there is a number of them available, um, is a barium aluminosilicate spherical particle system. So small, particle-sized, spherical shape, agglomerated, cured, and then cut to create an agglomerated microfilm nearly. Um, it's an amorphous silicon dioxide base as well, 81% filled, so very, very high strengths, um, ranging in size from 0.02 microns to 0.4 microns. Um, an excellent base system for block out in class threes um, and with the edge strength to support class four restorations as well. Aura has developed its own system of individual dentine shades, the DC1, through to the DC7 shade bases, on the basis of the same hue and increasing chroma, and the enamel shade series from E1, being the lighter, younger individual tooth, higher value, all the way up to E3, which is an older tooth, usually referenced over an A3 or an A3.5 Vita shade tab. Against the dentine shade series, it's probably the D5, D6, D7 range and the E2, which is the adult enamel shade range. It's important to recognise as there is variability in the shade tabs that come from the manufacturers. You can both build your own, but these shade tabs that Aura have created are from the actual material that you'll be seeing in use today, which is Aura. In the class three slash four situation, you can see the old leaking composites here, been around for probably uh, 10, 15 years. We've also got the potential for a small crack running out through the area here, which we're concerned may well become a class four restoration. And if we use our Radii Plus Transilluminator, we should be able to pick that up and see what's going on there. And we can see the uh, composites showing through here, the old composites and the micro cracks running down through that area there. And the distal and sizal area of the 21, we've got a uh, crack heading down towards the class 3 composite there. So we're anticipating that, that will probably be a class 4 uh, restoration there. So from a colour selection perspective, as we've seen with all of our other restorations, we elect to choose colour while there still is moisture in the tooth. We're looking in a uh, DC3, DC2 range. And from an enamel perspective, Again, probably the E2, E3, possibly the E3 to match the vitality of the uh, teeth structure that we've got here. So we're going to remove our surface stain off the teeth. So we're going to trial our DC2. area there at DC3 please. We can see that DC2 has got fairly high value through here. We drop in some DC3. T1 
into the um, 22 upper left lateral. There's two colour differences uh, between these teeth. The central is brighter and you can see matches across the DC2 and the DC3 is a good blend off the upper left lateral. So we'll be using two different colour bases uh, on these two teeth. So I take these areas off now. So we now have the situation that the through and through class 3 plus their small labial class 5 the distal class 3 that is with the removal of that fractured zone is becoming a class 4 and also on the upper left 2 the large class 3 that exists there. We've got some staining in these areas here so we're going to use some decay checker to ensure that all decay has been removed. Decay checking has been done, long bevels have been created when they're ready to start to uh, rebuild the teeth. And working one area at a time, we'll start with our mesial on the central. We'll flood the area with bond. Your small brushes are able to be bent to access the lingual zones in here. And then curing for 20 seconds labial, 20 seconds lingual, using our Radii Plus. I'm going to place our Mylar strip for the Class 3. wedge for holding. And now our DC2. To match the colour base through the body colour and sizal colour that we've already pre-selected. Again, providing room for our enamel zones. Like this. So again, our curing is carried out, 20 seconds. The darker colours, obviously, we're going to be curing for 40 seconds but for the lighter colours up to a DC3, just DC4. 20 seconds is uh, enough. And now the layers of enamel E3. create the blend of the bevel zone. <coughs> yeah. Now we go into our final stages of polishing, starting through our discs, and we'll then finish with our And again, taking your time going through the discs, allowing the generally aluminum oxide to bring the composite up to a 
ideal polish, remembering that the enamel is a microfill, 0.04 size particles, it'll polish up to an incredible luster. Composite polishing. Getting a little bit more character into some of those areas there. 